Hello everybody, this is Jury7s, and today I want to talk about a simple method for backing up your Minecraft. And um, I, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is I have a video um, called How to Backdate Minecraft, and it's there to show people how to recover uh, their Minecraft if they didn't back it up. And it gets a ton of views every time there's a Minecraft update. So I can tell there's a lot of people out there who... who um, either don't know how or they just simply don't want to back up or maybe they but I figure I, I can make a video to show those who don't know how and that'll be pretty easy alright so what I want to do is I want to pull up to my computer windows so the first one we're gonna make it to app data just like normal app data there we go and that brings us to the roaming folder Ta -da! And you can see a bunch of junk in here. Uh, but what we're concerned about is that Minecraft folder right there. All right, and then we're going to bring up another my, uh, my computer window. And this one I have on an external hard drive. I've created a folder called Minecraft Backups, uh, whatever it's called. In this folder, you can see I have some other backups from previous backing up. I recently reorganized them for this video, so <laughs> they're all in one place. Um, so the, a quick and easy way to do a backup like this is to take this folder. I like to copy it. So con so you highlight it, Control C, go to the other folder, Control V. And it's a big folder, so it'll take a few minutes to move, uh, but it's pretty easy. So why an external backup or an external hard drive? I like to use an external hard drive because it's if my computer goes completely kaput. It's not going to be, you know, it's unlikely to be uh, destroyed as well. However, there are some other options. Um, I have a Dropbox account where if I need to, if I want to make a longer term, safer backup, if I put it in the Dropbox account, it's stored in an external location, stored, um, I think it's on whatever Dropbox the servers are at. So it's, it's even more secure. The only problem is that the Dropbox account doesn't have a lot of space on it. So... This 500 megs right there would be a little bit too much. And so you'd want to do a more fine-grained backup. And I'll show you how to do that in just a few seconds after this is finished. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> and now when, when you want to do a backup, you want to do a backup anytime you're going to upgrade Minecraft. So I, I do one just before like a major uh, update or um, even before I start installing mods. That's a good time to do it as well. Let's see. Well, it says 30 seconds remaining. We can minimize that. Let it go. Let that work in the background. Another thing you can do if you don't want to back up the entire big folder is you can take this bin file, paste it over here, and what I'd like to do is I like to rename it. So this is going to be 1.1 with mods, and I like to make sure the name makes sense. So the version number and if it has mods. And then the other folder, if you do have mods, then you're probably also going to have a mods folder. You want to back that up as well. It's pretty obvious that this has mods in it, so we'll just name that 1.1. 1, 1. 1. Ta-da! Alright, and um, if you're running, um, what's it called, world edit, you're going to have some other folders in here you want to back up. A big folder that you'll always want to save is your saves folder. That has all of your worlds in it. So each of these is your worlds. And so if you don't, if you already backed up all of this, you may just want to back up whatever worlds you are actively working on. So for instance, this is my Let's Play world. So I would want to, you can also drag and drop by the way. I would want to back that up specifically. Now I'm doing like three different backups here. You only want to do whatever one that will fit your needs. So for instance, whenever um, every couple of episodes of the Let's Play, I was backing this up, and I was even uploading them to my Dropbox and sharing it with you guys. And so I had a backup every couple of videos. So in case something drastic happens, I didn't have to end the series early. <laughs> um, but as you can see, these folders are actually quite large. So we look at the properties here. So it's, you know, almost 400 megabytes. So it's quite a bit of space. But I don't need to back up this one because it's download. You know, I downloaded it. So, and these are really old ones. So, is that 
copy finished? Oh yes, the copy is finished. And so I'm going to rename this as well. So 1.1 .1 mods. There we go. And uh, every time you back it up, I didn't do it on a few of these because, I don't know, I was being lazy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I, I do the main folder probably once a version. I do a world, a particular world, um, a lot more frequently. And then I back up the bin file and um, mod file anytime I make any changes to the bin file or the backup file or the mods. So if I like add a mod or if I update versions of Minecraft, I back it up then as well. Okay, so this is a very simple way of backing it up. I have another more complex way of backing it up um, using scripting, using batch file scripting, and I will get to that in a future video. Have a great day, everybody. If you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully, this can avoid any kind of sticky situations with um, you know, corrupt files and whatnot. Bye-bye.